excited. I knew like at NCAAs I was not proud of myself, so I had to come back here with a different mindset and try to make the team and come up here and keep working hard and keep doing what I do and go out there and make the team. How did you manage yourself through each of the rounds competing at a stage as big as this? I just told myself, I know when I run rounds, I always get faster each round, and I kept trusting God and believing in my faith, and I went out there and gave it my all. And I mean, personal best. I mean, that yes. must feel really good too, right? <laughs> what was different? What, what did today feel differently for you? How was it different for you? I just stuck to my plan, and I kept going. I kept trusting myself because I knew if I got there, I'd get out hard and stay in the race. I knew I could come home and finish as hard as I always do. How'd you put NTAs behind you? Talk to my coach. It was like hard talks, and I had to learn how to keep moving forward and never look in the past. The past is the past, and look forward to the future and keep working hard. And anything can happen any day. What was the, what happened there? Just a bad race or injury or anything? Or? But I thought I was injured, so it got in my head. So I didn't do very good because I didn't want to run on my leg at all. And I went out there and I wasn't as focused as I was supposed to. And yeah, that's what really happened out there. What kind of validation is it to, to, to make the Olympic team the run the time that you did today? And, and to I just tell myself that I worked very hard and I'm meant to be here and I keep doing it. I did. Go to the finals and Olympics too. You talking about your coach? Your coach is here, right? Could yeah. you hear them along on the sideline as you were kind of. Yes, they were everywhere. Each everywhere. Race. We're at. We're at. The start, the 200, 300, the 400, the finish. <laughs> oh, wow. How does it feel to be going through the You know, a dream of mine, and it came true, so I'm very excited to go to Bears. Did, did it feel different today? From, from yeah, it felt very different. I wasn't as nervous, and I knew like something was going to happen today. Was it, like you said before, was it just the coach that kind of told you? Yeah, she just talked to me and she was like, figure out a way to get top three, and I did. How much of, of today was about competing and not really worrying about, like, what time it needed to, 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 to make the team? I mean, how much was it about competing today for you? My coach told me, just compete, the rounds are over, you just have to make the team. She was like, you go out there, you get... Any place you're still on the team, and I was like, she really wanted me to get top three, and that's why I did. She told me that I don't have a contract or anything. If anything goes bad, I just go back to school and keep training. Tell us about the support you get from home. I know they're back home watching. I know they all support me. They're blowing up my phone today in the morning, talking about I'm going to do great, and I believe them, and I kept believing myself, and that's all great they are. Miami, right? Miami. No, Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale. Okay, that's that's crucial. Yeah. Different, yeah. different. Okay. Um, I mean, how, you know, talking a little bit about like your season and how much you've grown, progressed um, from from the start uh, of the season, you know, to indoor even to now. How much? How much have you grown? From freshman year, I had to change a lot of stuff. Like, I didn't go in as a regular student. I was a student athlete, so I couldn't do what regular students do. So I had to change my mindset. And going into my sophomore year, I knew I had to like work very hard and getting a new coach. I had to trust him, and that's what I did. And his workouts worked, obviously. And it brought me here to going to Paris. Did you look into Paris before the trials, or did you hold yourself back a little bit, knowing, okay, I have to qualify first? I told myself to stay in the present and worry about the future later. Is there anything in Paris you were looking forward to? Mm, probably food. <laughs> <laughs> I gotcha. All right. Thank you. Thank you.